Bill Shout from Cranberry has done work here at the Farm Show grounds during the Farm Show. And as a local chainsaw artist, why, he's done some pretty interesting things. What are you carving out here today? Uh, we're actually helping put on the show, um, me and a couple other local carvers. Uh, so I'm in charge of the logs and, and moving the logs around here. And then I display my carvings on Route 19 in Cranberry Township uh, on a regular basis. And we carve locally here at different events. What are some of the subjects you carve? Uh, a lot of bears, of course. Everybody likes bears, right? Um, definitely eagles. Uh, do a lot of human faces uh, with spirit type faces, that type of thing. Isn't that really difficult to get the intricate uh, lines uh, in a person's eyes face? Eyes are a challenge, folks. Eyes are definitely a challenge. It's all about the eyes and the nose and the face. How do, you do, the how do you do that with a big chainsaw to get that detail? Well, we actually have some smaller chainsaws to help out with that. And, it, and we do a series of die grinders. Um, two different size die grinders. Basically, there's a bigger type of die grinder and a, and a very small, like Dremel type of die grinder for the very intricate work. When you do your work here at the farm show uh, during the summer, uh, does the public buy everything you make? Oh, they buy a good quality of what we make. Um, we also raffle things off for different charities. Uh, Evan City Fire Department, our local fire department. Uh, last year, we did some fundraising for the farm show themselves. So um, it all works out very well that way. You're in the excavating business. How do you get from there to chainsaw carving? Hey, it all started with a woman. That's all I can say. <laughs> I, I had a lady friend who was, liked chainsaw carvings, right? And um, we bought them. And then I'm like, hey, this is getting expensive. And um, so I started carving at home. And, and actually, my first little bear that I made took me 19 hours to make a bear about 18 inches tall, and uh, which now would take me about an hour at the most to make the same bear after five years of chainsaw carving. What work have you done that you're most proud of? Um, probably our benches. We make some really nice relief carvings. Um, I've done some elk, uh, white tail deer. Uh, those are probably my, my favorites. And not too many people relief carve anymore. There was a guy, uh, Benazette Way, um, near Ridgeway, and he had passed away a couple years ago. And, and I had a lot of pictures of his work, and I kind of learned from him. His name was Bob Huff. and. Uh, I do a lot of pretty nice relief, which is something different that these guys don't do as much of. Where do you get the trees, the wood? Um, I talk to every tree guy that comes through town. So they all know my name and they all have my business card. And I say, hey, you know, call Bill Shaw whenever you get some nice white pine, you know. Bill, have there ever been any projects that you started that just didn't work out and you couldn't finish it? No, there's never a wrong carving. They just get smaller or a change of plan, you know, a change of plan or whatever. But really, unless the wood's really terrible, I, uh, I, we can make, make something work. You know, really, we can. That usually works out. Bill, it's good to talk to you. Thanks very much. All right. Appreciate, appreciate everybody coming out here, too. Thank you.